I've decided I want to talk to you about your breakthrough for 2014 this morning. Everyone say, this is my year. This is my year. This is my year of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, by the power of Almighty God, this year I will have a spectacular breakthrough. A breakthrough I've never had. I will go places I've never gone. I will be blessed like I've never been blessed. My destiny, my destiny, my destiny is right before me. In the name of Jesus, I will fulfill everything, everything, everything God has called me to fulfill. In Jesus' name. Remember this. It is not by your goodness that anything ever happens. It is because the blood of Jesus has been shed for you that you have the right to say these words. This is not neurolinguistic programming. This is not positive reinforcement or positive mental attitude. This actually is the declaration of the righteous. These are the words that set us apart. These are what makes us different. So whether here this morning or whether watching online, make sure that you have chosen to speak God's words and be bold. Proverbs 28 verse number 1 says, The wicked flees when no one pursues him, but the righteous are bold as a lion. The righteous are fearless, courageous, and bold as lions. Just bold, speaking and declaring the goodness of God inside their lives. Tonight at 5 o'clock, we're going to be having a service online tonight. We will do a service online. <laughs> because if at 9.30 in the morning you're already dealing with CC, what is going to happen to people at 5? CC. Did you wonder what CC was? Chicken Christians. If you're dealing with chicken Christians at 9.30 in the morning, what do you think you're going to get at 5 o'clock? I mean, really. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to, we'll have a service online. Now, it'll be great. It'll be fun. But now, how many of you promise that you're going to watch them? Okay. Now, here's, here's it. Here's the deal. Is that in order to do this, you have to watch. Because if you don't watch, all I did was allow unfaithfulness to creep into your heart. I cannot be the reason why that you're unfaithful to God. That I can't do that. I got enough problems, darling. <laughs> then for me to add another one for your unfaithfulness just doesn't work for me. It just doesn't, doesn't work for me. And so 5 o'clock we'll have something online so you guys who are out there, you can actually think about not only this morning but tonight having the family around the fire while you're watching your computer or um, some of you doing it with smartphones, smarty pants phones. You can do it uh, any way that you want to do it. But tonight, just make sure that you, uh, you get online and uh, don't forget the offering part. Don't forget that, because we're going to believe God for finances for you, and we're going to believe God for finances for the organization. Amen? Amen. Amen. So I want to talk to you this morning about this spectacular 2014 that is right in front of you. This is your year of spectacular breakthrough. Say spectacular. spectacular. Once again, let me tell you what the word spectacular means. Oh, by the way, just so you don't check out, this isn't what I spoke about last week. Don't think it is because it isn't. But let me tell you what the word spectacular is. It's just magnificent, sensational, outstanding, and remarkable. Actually, spectacular means to be unforgettable. It's something that you'll never forget. Something that you're going to look back and say that this was my year. 2014 changed my life. 
2014 was a year that I was waiting for. 2014 was everything that I lived my life for. Everything about my destiny came to pass in 2014. I am excited about 2014. I'm excited to get up in the morning. I'm excited to go and do what I do. I'm excited because no matter what it looks like, any hindrance that would try to come against me and keep me from doing the things I needed to do, those things are going to melt before me in the name of Jesus. I believe that. I believe that to be true. It's absolutely true. So remember, there's never a sickness that Jesus cannot cure. There is never poverty, Jesus, that cannot turn around. There is never a marriage that Jesus cannot heal. There is never a problem that Jesus cannot solve. And there is never a question that Jesus will not answer for you. In the book of Colossians chapter 1, verses 13 and 14, it says that God has delivered us out of the authority. Everyone say authority. authority. He's delivered us out of the authority of darkness and he's translated us. Say, God translated me. God say, I came, I came out of one realm. Of one I realm. went into another. <laughs> Notice here he said that he translated you out of the kingdom of darkness and put you into the kingdom of the son of his love in whom, verse 14, we have redemption. Say, I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've, been redeemed. I've been redeemed. Jesus bought me back. Jesus. I'm no longer a slave. No longer I am a son. Christ. I'm no longer a slave. No I am God's daughter. I am no longer a slave. No I am not in bondage no to the habits of yesterday. In Jesus' name. So he said he has delivered you out of the authority of darkness and translated you into the kingdom of the son of his love in whom we have redemption through his blood. Remember that your redemption is through his blood. It's not through your actions. My redemption is through his blood, not of any of my own doing. My redemption is through his blood, not because I was nice. I didn't do anything to anybody. My redemption is through his blood, not my goodness. He said, even the forgiveness of sins. In Romans chapter 8, verses 31 and 32, it says, What then shall we say to these things? What? Say, if God is for me, if God is for me, who can be against me? For God did not spare his own son. But he gave him up for me. How shall he not with him? Freely. 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 Give me all things. If God would give me Jesus, then God would give me a house. If God would give me Jesus, God would give me a car. If God would give me Jesus, God would give me schooling. If God would give me Jesus, God would give me good relationships. If God would give me Jesus, God would give me a good career. If God would give me Jesus, God would keep me safe all the days of my life. You see, because God gave you Jesus. And if God gave you Jesus, he'll give you anything else. Remember this, all faith, every bit of faith is based upon the word of God. It is never based upon a person. All faith is based on God's word. Therefore, you must always keep your eyes not on a what would be considered to be a dead book, but on a live Jesus. It's not elementary. It's not education. It is a live Jesus that has been given to you, who now has been raised up to the right hand of the Father, whoever now makes intercession for you. He makes intercession for you and for you and for you. He is praying for you right now. Look at your neighbor say, he's praying for you right now. And Lord knows you need it. Hallelujah. In John chapter 15, verse number 7, Jesus said, 
If you abide in me, he said, and I abide in you. Mm, I like better what another translation says. He said, if you live in my word and my words have found their place in you, you shall ask what you will or you shall demand your rights and they will come into being. You'll demand your rights. You demand your rights. In the book of Luke chapter 18, verses 1 through 8, it gives us the story about the widow and the unjust judge. How that this widow actually kept coming to this judge and saying, give me my rights against my opponent. Give me my rights against my opponent. Give me my rights against my opponent. And for a time, he refused. But then he said, I will give this widow her rights against her opponent, lest by her continual coming, she will end up by doing me harm. I'll give her her rights because she keeps coming. I'll give her her rights because she keeps beating on me about this. I'll give her her rights. Say, 2014, I will demand my rights. I will demand my destiny. I will demand the blessing of God, and it will come into being. He said that she kept coming to him and said, you give me my rights. Remember this. Life can only refuse you for so long. Destiny can only be in the future for so long. Say, 2014, 2014 I will know, I will know how, to how to receive. Not just how to give. But I will know how to receive. receive. Do you realize that many times that people don't receive because they position incorrectly with people? And they think that they're going to receive regardless of how they position? No, friends, don't do it. Have you figured out it doesn't work yet? So remember this. That faith is based upon the word of God. It is not based, or faith is based on God's word. It is not based on anything else. In the book of Philippians chapter 2, speaking of this living Jesus, it says that God has highly exalted him and given him a name that's above every name. Say, God gave Jesus the name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every other name, cancer, sickness, poverty, Disease, disease, hindrance, hindrance. upsettedness, Upsetness. anxiety, anxiety must bow its knee bow in the name of Jesus. Jesus. You see, his name is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every other thing must bow its knee. Things in heaven and earth and under the earth. Wow. Wow. And every tongue must confess that Jesus He's the boss. You are not using that name because you have no right to do so. You are using it because you have a right to do so. The problem with the prodigal son's brother was the fact that he didn't use the name of his father, although even the prodigal son did. Give me what falls to my name. The brother said, I didn't ever do anything. I didn't ask you for anything, never asked you for a party. I never did anything, and this is the way that you treat him, and look at the way that you've treated me. He said, look, you could have had anything that you ever wanted to have whenever you wanted it. Don't be upset with your brother just because he did it. Now, remember, bad kids get good things. Have you noticed that? you ever wonder about that? I've wondered about it. I've thought, Jesus, what in the world is going on here? Say, in the name of Jesus, I will open my mouth. In Psalm 107, verse number 2, the Bible tells us this. It says this, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed. Let them say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Now, in the, in the NLT, the Bible tells us this. He says, has the Lord redeemed you? 
Then speak it out. Speak it out. Tell others he saved you from your enemies. Just tell them. Tell them. Tell them all the time. Tell them. God has saved me from my enemies. God has delivered me from the problems of life. God has delivered me from poor career choices. God has delivered me out of poor life choices. God has delivered me from the challenges that I face. God has delivered my family. God has delivered me from stupid. <laughs> Notice I said that one the loudest. That was the one that was the most personal to me. <laughs> Say, I'm redeemed. In the book of Colossians chapter, or Galatians chapter 3, verse number 13 says, Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. Christ redeemed you from the curse of the law. Say, Christ has redeemed me. Christ has redeemed me. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Being made the curse for me. Jesus was made my curse. May that drown your heart. Christ redeemed you from sin. He redeemed you from poverty. He redeemed you from sickness. He redeemed you from failure. He redeemed you from confusion. He redeemed you. Stand with me, please. Say, in the name of Jesus, by the power of Almighty God, God has delivered me. He has delivered me from sin. Sin's power, sin's power is broken in my life. In the name of Jesus. The Apostle Paul said, hey, I don't understand myself at all. He said, and I really want to do what is right, but I don't even do it. Instead, I do the very thing that I hate. We do things we hate. We do things we don't want to do. We get involved where we don't want to get involved. We embrace what we don't want to embrace. The things that we should want, sometimes we don't want. And the things we don't want end up being the things that we do want. Say, because of this, because of this in the name of Jesus, name of sin's, power, sin's, power, sin's power, sin's power, sin's power, sin's power. Sin's power. nobody knows what you're facing. Only you. Say, sin's power, sin's power is broken. Is sin's power, power. Be, broken. Be, broken. be broken. Sin's power, sin's power. be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I break sin's power in my life. I break evil desires and the power of evil desires in my life. Now, in the name of Jesus, now break, your, break the power of those things that are coming after you right now. Get serious. I want you to get serious in Jesus' name. I think one of the biggest problems people have is when they, when they want to face God, they're bold. And when they face the devil, they're chicken. Get serious about that stuff. Break the power of that stuff. Get as bold and as strong with that as you are about your opinions. Say, sin's power... Be broken. be broken. Sin's power. Sin's power. Be, broken. be broken. In my life. In, my life. In, the in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. By, the By the blood of Jesus. Of Jesus. I, break I break sin's power. Sin's power. In, my in my life. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Say this after me. Sickness. In 2014, you will have no part in my life. You have no right to come upon this body. My body, my body belongs to Jesus. It does not belong to you. Sickness, you cannot inhabit my body. You cannot have my time. 
You will not destroy my life. Sickness power. Be broken. Sickness power. Be broken. Sickness power. Be broken. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Sickness. Your power is broken over me. In the book of Isaiah chapter 53. And believe me when I tell you that if you're sick in your head, you are sicker than you will ever be in your body. Because if you're sick in your head, you don't know that something's wrong. You think that what you're thinking is right. Rarely will you ever meet a crazy person who admits they're crazy. They think everybody else is crazy. So always remember those things, those mental illnesses are, are illnesses of the mind. You know, I didn't see from the scriptures any time that people were afraid to go near a sick person in the scriptures. But there were people that would walk miles away from the Gadarene demoniac. Now stay away from that crazy guy. He's crazy. You don't know what he's going to do. You don't know what he thinks. One second, he's thinking, okay. Next second, he's going to kill you. You don't know what demons think. You don't know what demons have to say. Say, in the name of Jesus, God has not given me the spirit of fear, the spirit of anxiety, but he's given me power. He has given me power. He has given me his love. He has given me a sound mind. I have a sound mind. I have the mind of Christ. In the name of Jesus, I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. I think godly thoughts. I think God's thoughts. What he wants me to think is what I think. In Jesus' name. Say in 2014, poverty will be a thing of the past. In Jesus' name. No more poverty in my life. No more poverty in my family. No more poverty with my friends. No more poverty in my business. No more poverty in my pockets. In Jesus' name. Because you see, we know the grace. Look at 2 Corinthians 8 9. Look at what it says. It says there that for we know the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That though he was very rich, the NLT says, yet for your sakes he became poor, so that by his poverty he could make you rich. All the time, people would think How many of you believe that's true? You believe that's true. So when people tell you God doesn't want you to have that, what does that do to you? Do you cower? Do you back away from what Jesus has done? I would, I would pray that it would be that the word of God said nothing about finances. They said nothing about manner of life. They said nothing about representing the Lord. I would pray that that was true. Because you see, 
persecution. The scriptures are always the birthplace of persecution. Do you stand for it because you're greedy? Do you stand for it because you lust for more? Or do you stand for it because that's what he paid for? For me, it's this. I don't believe this because I want anything. And I can tell you when you don't want anything, that's exactly what you get. You don't get anything when you don't want anything. If you don't have a goal that you're working toward, if you don't have people that you want to help, if you don't have people that you want to see delivered, if you don't have an organization that you want to see go around the world so it can help people. I hear people tell me all the time, quite often actually, that what they do is that they want to, act, they want to go around the world and they want to preach the gospel for Jesus. And I said, well, okay, um, what do you believe about prosperity? So I don't believe that. I said, well, okay, then how are you going to get past from here to 43rd Street? You can't even get to 43rd Street. You don't have any money. It takes money to do everything that we do. It takes money to preach the gospel. It takes, it takes money to pay your rent. It takes money to have a family. It takes money to pay your taxes. It takes money to take care of those people that you love. It takes money to, to do everything that you need to do. You have got to have it. So, well, you know, I want it, but I just don't want that much. Oh, you mean you don't want enough for people to want what you have? I can't take care of anybody if I don't have more than I need. If you don't have more than you need, you will never take care of anybody. Hallelujah. You know how full of love and kindness our Lord Jesus Christ was. That though he was very rich, yet for your sakes he became poor. So that by his poverty he could make you rich. Having more than enough to do everything that God has called you to do. What has God called you to do? Say this, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus poverty, poverty is a thing of the past. Is thing of the poverty poverty is, a thing of the past. is a thing of the past. Poverty, poverty is a thing of the past. Thing of the past. In, Jesus in Jesus' name, need, need is, a thing of the past. is a thing of the past. I am a giver, am a giver. and it is given to me. Good measure, measure. pressed down, down. shaken together, together. and running over, shall men men give to me. me. I am blessed blessed to be a blessing. blessing. I am blessed blessed that I may bless others. I am blessed 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 so that I can meet others' needs. I work work every day day so that others others can be blessed. blessed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's why you go to work. You go to work so others can have their needs met while God is being so kind to you that he is meeting yours. So raise your hand and say this after me. 2014 2014 is my year year of a spectacular breakthrough. breakthrough. I am not going backwards. I am going forward. In the name of Jesus, this is my year. Sickness has no power over me. In the name of Jesus, sin has no power over me. In the name of Jesus, poverty has no power over me. In the name of Jesus, Jesus paid the price for everything in my life and I will Bring him glory. I will bring him honor. I will exalt him in this earth. Thank you, Father, for meeting my needs in my mind, in my body, in my bank account, in my career. No hindrances will stop me ever again. In the name of Jesus, let's give Jesus a shout. Amen.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 2014. 2014. 2014 is your year of spectacular breakthrough. No more are you going backwards. No more will you be disappointed. No more will you have to call up those bill collectors and tell them you don't have any money. No more will you ever not have something to meet your needs and to meet the needs of others. This year, your body will be healed. This year, your mind will become clear. This year, your career path is going to take shape. This year, God is going to promote you. This year, God is going to bless your family. This year, God is going to save those unsaved, unregenerate, heathen relatives. In the name of Jesus, this is your year. This is your year. This is your year. This is your year. Say this, this is my year. Is my year. In, the name In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Amen. Amen.